What is going on, everyone? It is Destroy with Astro DFS bringing you our Tuesday video, which is quarterbacks, guys. Uh, every Tuesday, we're just going to talk about quarterbacks, uh, go a little more in depth, uh, just to break down all the quarterbacks instead of trying to go position by position, missing opportunities, missing all that, uh, just go into high detail and express our likes and dislikes on the quarterback position. Uh, so, right off the bat, you know. Patrick Mahomes, like always, $600 more expensive than Lamar Jackson. Um, he's questionable. I don't think that's going to take anything into effect. He should be good for the game. Houston's defense is not elite. They have looked really good, um, and they've looked really bad. So um, Patrick Mahomes' offense has looked pretty bad, if I do say so myself. Yes, they're winning, even though they just lost to the Colts. Um, but there's still a high-caliber offense. Possibility of getting Tyreek Hill back this week. Uh, definitely brings some interest into it. And in all honesty, I um, you know, listened to a couple, couple things about this game. I think this game has potential for a shootout. Uh, two offenses that can really have some big firepower. Houston just showed what their offense can do, especially when you get Wolf Fuller included in the offense, you know. So neither defense, like I said, Houston's defense is better than Kansas City's defense for this. Uh, but still, I can easily see uh, 80 points combined from both teams. Um, it might not happen. You know, defense can show out again like they always do. Um, and the offensive offenses can play bad. So we could see uh, anything like that. But Deshaun Watson, Patrick Mahomes. I'm just gonna quick talk about this matchup since they're like right up, right next to each other. Sean Watson, 6,700. We're just we're just gonna go look at his game stats. So, so three touchdowns week one, zero week two. Three touchdowns week three, zero week four. Five touchdowns week five. Guess what? I could see another three touchdown game. And when he throws three touchdowns. Gets about 30 points. Last week, he threw five. He also threw for 426. Uh, Carolina's defense was good. Jacksonville's defense was good. New Orleans, terrible. Uh, Chargers were getting hurt. And Atlanta does not have a pass defense at all. Like I said, this this is very easily a shootout potential. So either quarterback, I have really high interest if I can afford it. Um, but for cash lines, I don't, I don't really know if I want to go with either of them just yet. Uh, so let's talk about the guy in the middle, Lamar Jackson, getting a very favorable matchup this week. He is playing the Cincinnati Bengals. Terrible run defense. Guess what? Baltimore can run the ball. Terrible pass defense. Baltimore can pass the ball. Uh, let's let's go take a look at Lamar Jackson's numbers. So passing wise, has gone down. Rushing, it's been there. Um. He hasn't hit had a 30-point game since week two against Arizona. Terrible defense. Miami, terrible defense. Kansas City, eh. Like I said, not really good of a defense, but still. Uh, Cleveland, Cleveland probably has the best defense out of all four of those teams. Um, he still put up decent numbers, 70% passing percentage, which is really good, 247 yards, did end up throwing two picks, ran the ball. Um, he has fumbled his last two games, but this, this is a matchup I, I love. Uh, he can run the ball easily this game, pass the ball easily this game. Cincinnati, I don't think, is going to put up much of a resistance, so we could see another good blowout from Baltimore, hopefully because they have needed it. Um, team hasn't looked that good lately. They beat a hurt Pittsburgh team. Lamar Jackson had his worst game of the season. I, like I said, I can easily see a bounce back here. Um, winning by three against Pittsburgh. It's a rivalry game. I understand that, but yeah, uh, Pittsburgh's got a fairly good defense. I think they're starting to click, but like I said, really, really good matchup running and passing wise here for Lamar Jackson. So definitely got my eye on him this week. Really good play. Uh, Russell Wilson playing against Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland's defense is pretty good. 
Um, they're still injured. I believe all their injured DBs will be back this game. And they they could stop the run for the most part. Brina did a really good job of running, and Garoppolo had a really good second half against Cleveland. Um, Carson, I Carson's improved. He's improved, so maybe that helps Russell Wilson out. Russell Wilson's looked on fire lately. It's just I don't know with Cleveland's full defense back and healthy, like I said, which they should be. Um, I don't know if I really necessarily love Russell Wilson here at 6,600. Like, I'd rather pay 100 more for Deshaun Watson or 300 more for Jackson, who have such high potential if you're going to pay that much for a quarterback. Uh, just really good for uh prices for them like i said russell wilson gpp definitely uh not taking him in cash unless i see that cleveland's defensive backs are still out but that's still a question mark for me uh kyler murray against atlanta um so let's take a look at his last last few games um has 25.62 25.42 you've yet to see him throw throw a really good game uh it's mostly because they have uh David Jackson, um, or David Johnson, I'm sorry, and Edmonds last week had a pretty good game. Kyler Murray had a career high in rush attempts at 10, ran for 93 yards. Uh, it's kind of the reason uh, David Johnson didn't get that much points. Uh, he's got a really good matchup here playing Atlanta's pass defense. Uh, Christian Kirk's in there. I have interest in Murray. If Christian Kirk isn't, I really don't have that much because I can easily see Kyler Murray having a really big game this week. But if Christian Kirk easily, when Christian Kirk is on the field, Larry Fitzgerald plays better too. So we'll we'll have to see. But definitely not my favorite. I love I love Matt Ryan at sixty four hundred here. I think his price is perfect. His matchup is perfect. I mean, just just look at Matt Ryan's numbers. Fantasy wise, he's only scored under 20 once in all five weeks. He's thrown for over 300 yards every game. There's only one game he didn't throw a touchdown, and that's the game he got under 20. He's playing a very bad Arizona pass defense. Um, Patrick Peterson doesn't come back until next week, I believe. Um, oop. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, Patrick Peterson doesn't come back till next week. I think I have to double check that. Um, so definitely, if if Pat Pete's back there, that changes a lot. But like I said, I don't I don't believe he is. I have to double check. Um, but yeah, somebody that's throwing over three hundred yards every game and getting three touchdowns basically every game against a terrible pass defense has so much interest for me, like a lot. Uh, and they need they need a win bad. So hopefully we can see some uh, Matt Ryan love here on Sunday. And I, like I said, I think it's a perfect matchup for him. Definitely loving Matt Ryan. Right below him, Dak Prescott. A lot of people uh, not high on Dak Prescott. We're going to look at his price, 6200 Dak Prescott, one game under 10 against New Orleans where no one played good in that game offensively. Defensively, yes. Uh, they lost against Green Bay yesterday. He threw three interceptions, still almost hit 30 points. 463 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, four rushes, 27 yards. What I want to point out is these first two games against the Giants, terrible defense. Washington, terrible defense. Playing against the Jets, pretty good defense. Still hurt. Um... Still without Mosley, I'll believe. But the the thing that adds value to Dak Prescott, in my opinion, this week is Michael Gallup. Um, so we could take a look at Michael Gallup really, really quick. Um, find Alice's game here. Okay, so we're going to look at Michael Gallup. He's been in three games. And I do believe he got hurt in the Washington game. Week one against the Giants, seven for seven, 158 yards. Week five against a good Green Bay defense, really good. 14 targets, seven receptions, 113 yards, and a touchdown. That offense plays better when Michael Gallup is there. Uh, everyone thought with Tyrone Smith out, Dak Prescott was going to just play terrible. 
I'm pretty sure that's a career high, if not a top three performance by Dak Prescott yards wide against a fairly good defense this year uh, with Green Bay. They're starting to fall off a little bit. Uh, Amari Cooper totally destroyed Green Bay's defense a lot more than everyone thought they were. But when they play with Ma- Michael Gallup and if Sam Darnold's back, he he just got cleared. If they're officially going to let him play and he's playing, we might see a really good game here. We might see a competitive game where Dak Prescott has to score. They have to play smart. They have to play good. And they could do it against the Jets. The Jets have a pretty good rush defense. And they probably will have a lot of passes to Zeke. Uh, a lot more than usual, um, in my opinion. But it's a perfect matchup for Dak Prescott. He plays good when Michael Gallup's out there. Michael Gallup's going to be out there. And the Jets' defense without C.J. Mosley has just not been that elite. So, if Mosley's still out, Dak Prescott, love him. Uh, right below Jared Goff. There's not much to say about Jared Goff. Has a really good team around him. Uh, he just can't excel fantasy point-wise. Threw for 517 yards in one game and still only had 27 points. They're playing against San Francisco's defense. They are so good. Um, The Rams are definitely going to score. They're definitely not going to let San Francisco do what they've done. But I I like San Francisco's pressure to the run game, making the Rams throw the ball. But Jared Goff just does not get fantasy points to make you fall in love with him, especially in this matchup against an undefeated San Francisco team. So definitely not liking Jared Goff. Carson Wentz at 6000 Pretty good price, I guess, for him. He's only cracked 20-plus points twice. One was barely over 20. Uh, 20. Two were close to 20. Uh, the only game he went off was Washington. Um, so you can tell what he did against the Jets last week. He only got 12.06 points, but that's because the Eagles' defense played the best defense they've played in a long time. So... Um, I don't really like them against Minnesota, to be fairly honest. Minnesota has a good defense. Um, when the offense plays good, that defense plays good, too. So, not liking his matchup. It, it's it's not Carson Wentz as much as it is Minnesota's defense. Then 6,000, not a huge fan of him. Garoppolo, um, same thing. I, I just want to say with Goff, even though Goff has tons of more weapons around him, um, 49ers now have Coleman back, so they have Coleman Breeder, Mostart, um, and Wilson, even though Wilson had to sit because you can't really have four running backs like that. You can, but it's very hard. Um, <clears throat> he's just not a fantasy points guy. He can win a game. He could pass, but just not a big fantasy points. Baker Mayfield, 5,500, played terrible against a 49ers defense. Um, I don't think he got a single fantasy point one. Uh, just depended on what site um, you were on. He got zero for a lot. So T- <laughs> until that Cleveland offense can finally click, no, no trust in anybody but Nick Chubb. Like I've said, Andy Dalton playing against Baltimore's defense. Guess what? Andy Dalton had a really good opportunity last week. Did okay. Playing against a Baltimore who's just going to put pressure on him because he's probably going to be without AJ Green still. I'm 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 not liking that matchup at all. Um, I don't like Teddy Bridgewater. Had a really good game. Don't get me wrong. Really really impressive game in my opinion. But they're playing Jacksonville's defense. Hopefully um, Jalen Ramsey's back because I love watching that defense when Ramsey's there. It's just entertaining to see of how much life they have. They have such a good defense that you don't know what can happen. We've seen New Orleans offense just totally not do anything. So not liking Teddy Birchwater. Kirk Cousins is in another favorable matchup. Guys, he went down $100 and just had the best game he had all season. He has another potential. This has a potential to be a high-scoring game. Or Kirk, uh, Kirk Cousins can have a really good game again. If you get 20-plus points... At 5,200 for a quarterback, that's that's good to me. Uh, you're hitting value, in my opinion. And if you're paying $5,200 for a quarterback, 
That means you can pay up on other positions, especially go after Minnesota wide receivers. Adam Thielen, wink, wink, against a terrible Philly defense. They played really good last week, but that was against a terrible Jets offense. So Kirk Cousins yet again has another potential high good game. Uh, Sam Darnold going against Dallas. Don't know how that offense is going to react his first game back. Um, Week one against Buffalo. Buffalo, really good defense, 13 points. I'm just not going to take him this week. I'm not going to play him in anything just because Dallas defense is sort of good at times. One of those defenses that can look elite. We just don't know how the Jets offense is going to look. So not liking it there. Uh, something that I think is very interesting is Gardner Minshew is 5,000 playing New Orleans. Granted, you look at his numbers uh, at 27 points last week with three fumbles. That's what blew my mind. It was kind of like a Josh Allen stat. He gets an opportunity. He's played some, some good defenses here. Um, KC, he came in the game, so you can't really say much about that game. Houston, Houston's defense played really good that game. Tennessee has a fairly good defense, I would like to say. Denver, really good defense. Um, Hasn't been going down, but that's just because of injuries. Uh, And then Carolina's defense, been playing good. Guess what? Gardner Minshew's been playing good. He's only cracked 20 once, but he's playing New Orleans. And if that defense, like I said, could play good, he could see the ball a lot. We we could see some honestly good play from the Jacksonville offense, and Gardner Minshew can have a great game at five thousand. That's not too bad, in my opinion. Um, Dwayne Hoskins is probably going to be the quarterback here. Miami and Washington, the two worst teams in the league. <laughs> in my opinion, the, I I think it's going to be a low scoring game. I could be wrong because of how bad both defenses are, and how bad both offenses are, but. It, it could literally just be a 10-7 game. It could be a 50-50 game. You never know with these kind of teams, these kind of games. They're always weird to, to judge. Um, but we haven't seen anything from Dwayne Haskins yet. He will have McLaurin back this week. And uh, I do believe uh, Fitzpatrick should be the starting quarterback in that game. Uh, maybe they go... Rosen, Um, they might do Rosen, let me see, so yeah, they might keep Rosen, not not high on Rosen, not even in Arizona, Um, if you're going to take anybody from this game, it's it's definitely doing Hoskins, that offense is just better than Miami's offense, Marcus Mariota, really tough matchup, that offense looks so flustered, not liking him one bit against Denver, Uh, Joe Flacco against Tennessee's defense, maybe, um, you know, he he didn't do as good as I thought he was going to do. Uh, Denver's rushing definitely did a lot better. Had two fumbles, less than 10 points. So not not too big of a fan. Kind of upset me. Uh, and that's it, guys. That's it for quarterbacks. Uh, it's it's going to be a fun week for quarterbacks. Last, last week was a fun week for wide receivers. This week, I think, is going to be interesting with quarterbacks. Definitely a lot of good uh, matchups. Some 